watch them. Yeah, they're all over the internet because I'm a bad boy. And you need to be more misogynistic. This woman just spilled my coffee. Bitch! <laughs> Bitch! Bring some paper towels! <laughs> We're doing a fucking podcast! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do I get girls hitting me up on Instagram? Truthfully, not really. The odd one or two. Um, and next time you catch yourself jerking off the porno, even before you jizz, you should sit there and go, this is a waste of three minutes. I ain't using fucking three minutes. Stuck to your word. Shave the head like you're supposed to. You now got the right aesthetic. Got a big fat cigar. Cigar's good for your testosterone. And it's gonna go well. You're a G. So you're not a G, are you, Aiden? Well, what color is your brigade? Red. Uh, my beats, man. I got a goal. I scored a goal. I didn't score shit. It's a video game. I didn't score a motherfucking thing. Idiot. Top G, or you can also call me Trigger Dawn. It's another name I just developed. Trigger Dawn. Because I'm that guy. That's Top G. Who's Top G? That's Top G. Oh, I thought his name was Trigger Dawn. Oh, maybe his name is Trigger Dawn. Doesn't matter which one it is. You don't want to mess with Top G Trigger Dawn. So you can call me whatever you want, but we're going to go with Top Boss for now. All I did was pay women. Woman worked for me, made $100,000 in a month. I gave her about 25% of that money. She got 25 grand, I got 75 grand. You're sitting there going, that's exploitative. Why'd you give her so little? So little. I'm the genius behind it. I'm the tech. I'm the emotional support. I'm the one who told her what to say and what to do. She's just the face of it all. 25% is a huge margin. When you work at McDonald's, do you get 25% of what you ring up on the till? You get less than 1%. I overpaid them all. I made women millionaires. I'm a feminist. I'm a good man. I don't take advantage of women. Wages. We need the wages. 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 Someone has to cook the fries, dumbass. Someone has to fucking flip the burgers, dumbass. We have five and six year olds trying to pretend they're transgender. A five year old doesn't even know his address, doesn't even know his phone number. And you want to tell me this five year old's intelligent enough to work out he's not a dude? He's never even fucked anybody. He's never had a boner. How is he? How is this person intelligent and grown up and mature enough to make a decision on gender? Smartwatches are bullshit. There is nothing you can do on a smartwatch faster than you can if you just pull your phone out your pocket and use your phone properly. Every time I've ever seen anyone try and do something on a smartwatch, I just sit there looking at them thinking, what kind of fucking materialistic, capitalistic moron are you that when Apple releases a watch, you think you need it? So you can sit there scrolling through, pretending that it's easier for you to read your email on your fucking watch than it is for you to get your phone out of your pocket. Get your phone out of your pocket is like literally half a second. In fact, let's time it. Put a timer on. So I'm sitting here. I need to do something on my phone. I've got my stupid smartwatch on. I go, okay, let me just get my phone. I get it out. Is, is it gonna be any quicker? Me fucking around on that little watch? Is it any better for me to, oh, who's calling me? Okay, and now I'll get my phone out of my pocket. It's bullshit, it's garbage. They're completely, completely useless. And then people go, oh yeah, but it tracks my heart rate. You didn't know your heart rate for your whole fucking adult life. You went through your life and you never knew what your fucking heart rate was. You never knew how many steps you took in a day. And now that it says on your fucking watch, you're pretending that's important information, you just not fucking important information. All you're trying to do is justify your completely shit lifestyle by saying, oh, I took 500 steps today. Who gives a fuck? You're still a fat bastard. The guy's house. I've actually known him for a long time. I've known him since school. And we're sitting there chilling. And I was there for about six hours. And he's like, yeah, it'd be nice one day. Anyway, I'm hungry. You want something to eat? I was like, no, nah, I'm fine, bro. So he gets his ass up, he's a full grown man, and he starts to cook himself something to eat. And everybody knows the age old adage, time is what? Money. Money, that's right, time is money. You're gonna spend time preparing food. The last thing you should be doing with your time is cooking. I can't think of a lower ROI activity. Ooh, an onion, well let me get the onion. I'm gonna start cooking. Fridge, ooh, an onion, and some lettuce. Now, get my, get my knife, cut my onion, start to cut my onion. You're broke! You're fucking poor!
that Andrew Tate clip where he comes out and he's like, when I'm getting a haircut, I have to rent <laughs> out the whole salon. When I'm in London and I'm getting a haircut, I hire out the entire barber shop. I can't sit in that chair knowing the door's unlocked with a towel over my face, knowing that someone can walk in that shop and stab me or that one of the other people there want me dead. I can't do it. I buy the shop for an hour. It's supposed to be a 50 pound haircut. So here's a thousand pounds. Close the shop for an hour. Up the door, close the shutters, cut my hair and I leave. And I have two guards outside. But like just the seriousness on his take is just like over dramatic as fuck. It would have killed you to get a house call bro i'm just you're doing the fucking most you're andrew tate if you send a message to any local barber they will show up to your house immediately 